Hi, I'm Josh, and this is a cassette player, which you use to play these cassette tapes. Video over. I'm just old enough to remember when cassette players were pretty common to see either in your car or, you know, these little portable ones before they got eclipsed by CDs. But, um, you know, now it seems like cassette players have had a bit of a resurgence as a fun and cool lo-fi sampling platform. Now the cassettes on their own can have some very fun musical uses. You can make what are called tape loops. We'll talk about those later in the video. You can also sample from them, but along with the cassettes, I think that the actual tape players could be regarded as a kind of instrument in their own right too, in their neutral state like this one. But consider for a moment, this one. This is also a cassette player. It has a little speed control. You'll get a closer look at this later and you'll be able to appreciate the kind of awful job I did of just super gluing the little knob right to the top of the, uh, of the player. But with a simple modification like that, it really does turn a cassette player into an instrument. So we're gonna shift over to a top-down view of my desk where we're gonna talk about ways that a cassette player can be regarded as an instrument, not just as a means of playing back audio. So um, let's do that. So I realized this desk is a mess of cables and blinking lights, and I put a cassette here for flavor. But um, so I wanted to show you how you can use a cassette player like an instrument. In both of these, I have a little tape loop. So it's just um, a small amount of tape that will play a looping piece of audio instead of unwinding fully in one direction. And then, you know, you flip it and play it and that winds it in the other direction. So to give you a sense, here's one of the tape loops I have. I'm gonna turn the effects off so that you can hear just the tape sound. So that's what that sounds like. And over here, I have the, uh, the cassette player that I showed you earlier. It has a single note sample, although because uh, I have slightly clumsy hands when I made the uh, the actual tape loop, it's not uh, quite the right shape, so it jitters a bit. And you can hear as I turn this. But the pitch and speed will change. And um, yeah, that's what I wired it up to do. So, how do you use these as instruments? Well, I've got a couple of guitar pedals here. This is a, a Flamma FSO2. It's a pretty basic but great sounding reverb. And then up here is a Walrus Audio Lore. Uh, it's a little bit hidden. It's a, it's a very pretty pedal. I do have a larger video about that. And um, I'm gonna show you how you use these in tandem to get fun ambient sounds out of just a couple of tapes. And just for context, so you know what I'm doing, this pedal is sitting on a Tascam Porta Studio 414. And I'm using that as kind of like a, a mixer. I've got inputs with these tape players, then I have uh, effect sends and I'm sending them to the pedals. And so essentially I can just start playing the tapes and then, you know, adjust levels to my liking, make sure that everything sounds good, maybe play around with the pedals. Uh, who knows? So I think that I'm just going to start playing and, and I'll show you how, you know, with just a simple adjustment, I think that this cassette player uh, is turned into like a lot more of an instrument. And I, I will say that even without, if you don't feel like soldering and all that, if you make tape loops, you can still, you know, use those, put them on cassette players, play them through pedals, uh, get cool sounds, still like just as, uh, you know, just as musical, just as valid. Um, but Anyway, I'm I'm kind of just rambling. Let's um let's start. So I'm going to start by playing both of these tapes, and I've got the volume all the way down, so you won't hear anything. Uh, and I'm just going to get quiet for a bit and start playing. And before I do, I'm going to turn these effect sends all the way up. I'm going to send this tape to the reverb, and this tape to the lore, and hopefully. Uh, we'll get to hear something cool.
So that's an example of how I would use these tape players as instruments. Um, I want to make it clear, I'm not trying to present any of this as though it's like some groundbreaking thing that, that only I do or that I discovered. Um, a lot of what I learned how to do with tapes, um, I learned from watching uh, two YouTubers slash music artists. Um, Heinbach is uh, one major one, and then also there's a YouTuber called Amulets whose video on how to make uh, tape loops, I'll actually, I'll put it in the description, is um, what got me started on making tape loops. Uh, that and, you know, finding a huge pack of them at a local thrift store. And if you're interested in using cassette players to make music, I mean, I picked these ones up pretty cheap from local thrift stores, but I will say that, like, as long as you're not trying to get a specific model, uh, you know, just check thrift stores or vintage stores, because a lot of the time, you know, they just put these on the shelf for like five bucks because, you know, they might be collector's items, but they just don't bother checking. And, um, you know, there you go. You've just picked up a, a fun little musical platform for five bucks. And I'll also add that, you know, I'm doing this all visually and manually. Of course, you can, in a DAW, you can control things like, like reverb and, you know, levels and filter and stuff like that. So you don't technically like need these reverb pedals. Uh, they're just, you know, fun to have. Same with this Tascam. Uh, it is a great tape recorder. It is a great four track recorder. It is uh, a really fun mixer actually, even though it only has uh, the, the four main inputs here, it's, it's still fun to play around with. But, um, you know, definitely not required for getting into something like this. All it really takes is uh, a tape player, tape loops, some time to, to figure it out to get into doing it. And I'll add that if you like the tape loop sounds that you heard, uh, a while back I made a sample pack that had these in it. Uh, I'll put it down in the description. There's going to be a lot down in the description. And uh, speaking of, there are some links down in the description which are uh, affiliate links through Perfect Circuit. I've marked those as being some of my favorite gear, but none of it is, uh, just to be clear, none of it is required to make music with this. Those are just in there because I got approved and that's, so now they're in there. Uh, it has nothing to do with this particular subject matter. So as a conclusion to this video, tapes and tape players are an interesting musical platform that I think with just a little bit of finagling, you can turn into like a fun instrument. You get some pedals, you add some tape loops, and what you've got is uh, an instant ticket to ambience. I hope that you enjoyed watching. This was a little bit of an off the cuff video that popped into my head and I thought would be fun to make. Um, you know, if you enjoyed it, please leave a comment and let me know. And if you haven't already, please consider leaving a like and hitting subscribe. I'm working on, among other things, a, uh, a sample pack that is going to be free and I'm gonna, you know, make a video about it. So, hey, subscribe so you won't miss out on that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.